All right, guys, today we're going to put a remote start on a 2016 Dodge Ram 1500 Eco Diesel. So, the first thing we're going to do is go to flashlogic.com. We're going to select Ram. 2016 1500 and tip start diesel automatic <clears throat> let me show you when they talk about tip start we're talking about this here just where you stick the tip of this in there that's your key that's what they call a tip start So, it says we need an FLRS CH10, and that's what we got. So, let's get it opened up here. Back this up. Got our module. Got the harness. Some other wires and our warning label that we probably won't use any of these wires here. But get this unwrapped. harness this is going to be one of the most simple remote starts you can do so let me get this back up here a little bit better this used to have me log in but I don't think we have to do that anymore Got my little updater here. I'm going to plug it into the USB. We're going to plug the other end into the module. And we're going to go up here to flash your module and it wants to take us to something else this is new this year we talked about that in my last remote start video this is some new thing I had to download we're going to select weblink RS and it's going to detect, detect this module We've got the little LED flashing it, it picked it up it knows exactly what it is we're going to configure a new module. It's a RAM 2016 1500 tip start diesel automatic. He doesn't want any of the RF kits that we talked about last time, like extended range antenna, we're just going to do this from three times lock on the factory remote. So we're going to select factory remote. This is the one that's recommended. We're going to change it from 15 minutes run time to 25 minutes run time. And we're going to go to, we don't want to flash it yet, we want to go to feature menu, because I think we need to turn on the glow plugs monitoring, and it may already be on. 
it is glow plugs status monitoring it's already turned on so that's good so I guess we can it's the first time I've been in here I don't want to do something weird here Let's just go to the next menu. And that's it. We're going to save. Now we're going to go to Flash. It's got to set on lock, lock, lock. It's got the correct vehicle in there. We're going to flash the device. And you should see this LED flashing as the bar goes across there. All right. Now, it says go extended programming. So what we're going to do is we're going to unplug this. And we're going to go ahead and get it installed in the vehicle. And then when we go to program the key to it, in the vehicle, we're going to have to unplug this and come back to the extended programming. So let's get it installed. All right, first you want to click this C instructions. And we're going to look at this. It says 1500, 2500, 3500 diesel, standard keys, tip start automatic, 14 to 17. So we want install type 2. One, here's two. So it tells you here that this is, it's got a note, only for ADS harness RSCHR10 version 1.20, and we don't have that one. We've got. version 1.30 so we don't have to worry about this connection right here personally I never do the driver's door pin that you know shuts it off the, when you open the door kills your accessories that's going to time out anyway we don't need the horn no one ever does the hood pin switch so the only thing we got to do to this is plug in a t-harness at the ignition switch and the light switch and the LBD do two connector. So here's a purple wire here it says no connection. And this one here says no connection. So we're not going to use that part of it. So let's get over here to the truck. I get this repositioned and get it installed. All right. I got this positioned where I think that you can see best what I'm doing. I hope so. I got this blanket laying in here because this floorboard is freaking filthy. <clears throat> so, okay, here's our OBD2 connector T. So we're going to undo the OBD2 connect, OBD connector out of its holder, its original holder. And this one will get popped down in there. And then the original one will get plugged into this. <clears throat> and then our light switch up here, we're going to unplug it. And we're going to plug this to where we plugged it, where we unplugged it. And then we're going to take the one that we unplugged out of the light switch and plug into this one. And then the ignition switch, what they call the WIM module on these, we're going to unplug out of it. And then we're going to plug this into where we unplugged it. And the one we took out of it, we're going to plug into this one. So I'm going to get up in here and hopefully not be in you guys' way. So I got a little screwdriver to release this OBD2 connector.
that just got little clips on each side. And we will plug it into this one. And then we're going to pop this one back down in the original spot. So they still got one to plug into for diagnostics. And just kind of look when you're doing this. I got me a light up in there. Just kind of look where you think it's best to get it up over the factory wiring because you're going to tie this stuff up. This is our plug for the module that we're going to program for the truck. So let's take this one up over here to the ignition switch. I say we're going to unplug it. You can see up in here really well on these trucks too. Just reach up here, squeeze it, unplug it, plug it into this one. Plug into where we unplugged it. Now, our headlight switch one, we're not going to use this one, just this one. This is for a different style. So we're going to reach up, unplug it. It comes down pretty far, so plug it into here and then plug this one into where we unplugged it. And the one that's not being used just kind of dangle it up there out of the way. So now we still got these hanging down for the module to be plugged into. So, let me see how that worked out, and then we'll see what it says we got to do to program this thing. All right, so let's go down and see what it says about programming this thing. Module programming procedure one of two. Close driver door, reopen driver door to wake up data bus. Press unlock on OEM remote if the vehicle is not equipped with, a, with an OEM remote. Press the module program button. That's this thing here, but this truck does have a remote. So we will hit the unlock button. It says wait, LED, that's this thing. Let's see, wait, LED will flash green once. If it does not flash, press the unlock on the OEM again. Turn key to on position. Wait, LED turns solid red. Turn key to the off position. Remove the key. Insert the key again. Turn it to the on position. Wait, LED will flash green. Turn key to off position. Warning, disconnect power last. And then we're going to connect it back to the computer and we're going to clone the key is what we're doing to this one. So we're going to do the programming and then it says warning, do not press the module programming button. Connect power first. Turn key to the on position. Wait, LED will turn solid green for two seconds. Turn key to the off position. Turn key to start position. Turn key to off position. So I guess we're going to start it and turn it off and it's programmed. So dang it. All 
Okay, so I'm gonna get the camera reposition back over here and we're gonna go through these steps and see what happens. All right, this is a tough part, trying to remember how to do all this, so there's a lot of steps. So we're gonna plug in the module Got the key over here. It says to close the door and reopen it. Break it up. Press the unlock. The LED did flash once. Turn the key to the on position and it will turn solid red, turn it off. Remove key. Insert key, turn it off. So. Red, turn it off, remove the key, put it back in, it's flashing, okay, so we're going to turn it off. Now, it says disconnect the power last while it's flashing. All right, now, let's go back over here. Now, we gotta continue on with our key cloning. So, let's find that window. That's not the one we want. We'll go back to this one. Because I think when we plug it in, it's going to know what it's ready for. Plugged in. Well, now it wants me to log in. And I don't understand that because it didn't have me do it the last time. So let me pause this and get logged in. All right. I'm logged back in. Let's hit this again. Start extended programming. Continue extended programming. Okay, so you'll see the LED flashing. And sometimes this takes a little bit. You just got to be patient with it. It's storing that key into this. So, it, so the truck thinks it has a key in it all the time. Flash completed successfully. Now we got to get back to our instructions. <laughs> it looks like I got out of it somehow. So we'll just get it right here. Okay, connect module to computer. We did that. Okay, now we're going to put it back in the vehicle. Do not press programming button. Connect power first. Turn key to on position. Wait, LED will turn solid green for two seconds. Turn key to off position. And then it says turn key to start position. So I guess we're going to start the truck. And then we're going to turn it right back off. Hold on a second. Yeah, module programming. Okay. Okay, we're going to 
press it to the start position and we're going to turn it off and then it says start the vehicle for 15 seconds that's going to be learning the tack let it run for 15 seconds press and hold the brake pedal press and release the module programming button release the pedal LED will flash Let's see, wait, LED two will flash green and it says it's complete. So let's get it set back over here by the truck. Okay, we've got the module here. I'm gonna, it says plug in power first. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this door and reopen it again. It says turn the key on, we should get an LED for two seconds. All right, two seconds, we're gonna turn it off. It says start the truck. We shut it off. Now it says start the truck for 15 seconds and hold the brake and press the program button. So that's 15 seconds, and then hold the brake, and press this, and then release it, and it says the module's program. So, let's get this out of the way, and try it, and see what happens. Alright guys, it looked like everything programmed the way it was supposed to, so all we should have to do is press this lock button three times on the factory remote. One, two... Three. That's all there is to it. Now to get in, all you do is hit unlock, open the door, put the key in, turn it to run, and take off. If you hit the brake first, it'll shut off. Just as like I said, that's what cancels it out. So, but if you decide you're not going to go anywhere, just hit the lock button three times again. One, two, three. Now, let's get that thing tied up underneath the dash and we'll be all done. All right, I got this all tied up. I'm gonna see if I can show you guys, I don't know. I just tied it up right here on this factory harness, tied up any loose wires we had. And that's all there is to it. No cut wires, very clean install. And I went ahead and put the sticker under the hood, letting people know that it's got a remote start on it. So that's how easy it is to put a remote start on this truck. So if you guys like this video, if it helps you out, please hit the thumbs up down there. Please put some comments down there and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching.